Part of Alvin Schwartz's brilliance was that he took all these old folk legends and made them readable for kids. And I think that's his particular genius. That book was talked about on the playground. There's something a little off-putting, but that's why it's so fascinating. You had to sign up a couple weeks in advance if you wanted to get them. Everybody knew these stories. And it was always a subject of dares. Like, I dare you to check out the book. Parents and teachers in a Seattle suburb will vote next week on a plan to ban three books from an elementary school library. Those who want to get rid of the book say they're just too gruesome for young readers. There is a horse that is grotesque, it is misshapen, it is disproportionate, it has a human eye. Growing up, I never really saw the Scary Stories books. In light of them being widely banned, I just saw them as stories that my grandfather collected. He was the number one banned book author, and he just loved that. Children have a, a need to master the fears that they have in their life, so they kind of give readers a taste of the darker side of humanity. I always found it interesting that these books were challenged because we don't discourage students from reading Greek mythology or Robin Hood. I finally got the courage to check out the book myself. <laughs> Carrying it home in my, in my backpack and feeling like it was burning up.